Okay, it is 9.28 a.m. It is a Wednesday, July the 14th. And the watch list is a little smaller. I wouldn't really want to trade this for a morning panic balance play. What I would like, because it's already been down two days in a row, is maybe if it has like a gap up today or some kind of a spike today, some kind of a recovery attempt. If it can do that, it's clearly shown that it has done it before when it ran here from 13 to 6.4 and then, you know, it turned around and it made a leg up. I'm not expecting a leg up, but I like an uptrend. And uh, Gamer will be Morning Panic Bounce Play Potential. HMNU, probably not. It traded horrible the other day. You know, they didn't really offer much opportunity. HPIA will be a degenerate. Morning Panic Balance Play, if I do trade that, I'll watch DPLS, but I'll be honest, I'm scared of this one, so that's where I'm at right now. I do have another watch list to the side, but these are the main ones that I'll be looking at. Alright, it is 9.38, I am still looking, but I did trade PHIL, they kind of changed, um, Charles Schwab changed the way the thing works, um, but I don't know why this is day change, I need to change that because that throws me off. Anyway, um, so I made 35 here. This was a 5.8% win, and I, I I hesitated buying here, but I don't regret it too much because VWAP is not very far away to consider 124, you know, and take a buy at, where did I have it, at 12? That's not really the best range. Of course, it can uptrend past VWAP and then get the 13, which would be nice. But this was a trade with PHIL, it's been running a few days, they had a red day here, and um, I don't like how it's still trading big volume candles. So that's something to take into consideration. I did not hold this trade long because it just, again, I hate it when it does it, but it did it and I sold immediately. I bought at 123, which was right here at 933, so right here in this green candle I bought at 123 and immediately spiked towards V1 and I said what the heck you know like a this is better a nice slow gradual uptrend in fact this one is getting past V1 so that's great again I just missed this one and I would have traded a smaller size I had a 360 size compared to my initial size which was 50,000 right which was a $600 ish position so Again, this wasn't really um, I idea that it just, you know, I bought here, one, two, three, and immediately gets a 13, like, come on. So I sold uh, immediately. Um, I didn't even change my limit price, right? And um, thankfully, I did get executed at the current price, which was 13. It didn't um, get executed, like, at my actual, you know, um, thing there. So I'm, I'm happy with that. And, yeah, um... I sold at the top here at 13, you know, made a leg down, was no big obvious volume candle, which stinks, except for here when it was looking like it was going to turn around, but now it looks like it's being stuffed. There could still be more setups, um, MWWC I was watching for a morning spike, I don't like the way this thing really just traded, I think it's just something to do with the platform, it just looks weird in the first few minutes how the charts are gonna look but that's fine HPIL decided to spike same idea I was having with MWWC I've said it happened here which makes more sense because this is a more gradual downtrend is more you know it, it looks more obvious than something like MWWC um, I guess I'm not too sure the volume is fading so I thought maybe it could turn around and um, it's not really fading here so I guess this is just still something I have to learn and look at but it did spike um, it did have a morning spike from 57 to 66 so that's great for anybody who got a part of that you know this isn't an issue with think or swim because you can see the chart you can have the chart from the other day showing I guess if I did a one day chart maybe in this case I can have no problems but when I just have it showing today like this, the chart looks all weird. It has like a big green candle in it. It just changes the way the whole thing looks. I, you know, I guess this is hard to understand, maybe, but it's just, it just looks strange on the platform when it's just having its first few candles. Yeah, PHIL, it worked here. 
That's nice. Um, I'm not gonna get upset because it didn't trade perfectly in that. It didn't have like a nice clean volume, big volume candle. I mean, I guess it did, but it wasn't. It could have been much better than that. Right about there. HMNU. Um, no, this trade's all weird. I don't like that. DPLS is uptrending. See, this one has a whole bunch of ticks, right? So when it opened today, it didn't look so strange. I think that's where I'm at right now. I don't see anything clear. Maybe, maybe PHIL if it does a lower low. But right now, I don't see a setup. Oh, and actually, one more thing to know, gamer. I tried buying 56 and 935 right here, and it did the same thing as PHIL. I, well, here I missed my execution, so I just canceled it. But then it had a spike straight towards VWAP. I would have done the same thing as sold immediately. Um, maybe this thing is gonna break, but I mean, this this is how it trades. It has a green, red, green, red day, so. I might consider it, but it's not it's not perfect. I trade a small position. Okay, it is ten oh seven AM um LCLP. Yes, I was looking at this dip. I didn't take it. I first saw it around here and then you know maybe I would have taken it here. Um but I wanted it to dip towards VWAP, it didn't do that. It's still up trending. Also the daily chart is not really perfect either. It shows that it can spike. And then immediately start to downtrend um, rather soon. Although this one shows it can run up a little. Same here, but there's a lot of these one-day spikers. So, you know, lots of people who might be selling their bags into this as well. Especially considering I was at 21 not too long ago either. I feel bad for whoever sold there. But, I mean, that's the right thing to do. Uh, geez, would I trade this if it breaks? the high zero 85 or give or take 80 here maybe not yeah probably not because I don't for all those reasons mentioned um, you know this is just to trap people into being a bag holder really so I'd have to be in and out um, yeah I don't I don't really see anything I want to do with that PHIL if it drops you know makes a double bottom higher low lower low I'll consider it Gamer, I considered it um, a buy somewhere here at 56. Just very messy, ugly, but this thing, like it's done before, can just randomly uptrend the rest of the day. That's a lot of 11% gains. That that's kind of is this some kind of promoter talk? I swear, like this was the same price where DPLS had a reversal. Or I had the other buy. There were so many 11, 11 prints going through. <laughs> what? Wow, that is so interesting. Okay. Oh, I see. There's two of these. All right. Still, there's two of them that are all up 11, 11 percent. This one's close, right? Okay, not anymore. But all right, there we go. We have a 14. Yeah. Okay. MWWC is just. I don't even know what to say about this. There's not a dip towards VWAP setup. It's just trading weird HPIL. If it does, like a drop later in the day, maybe I'll consider it, but probably not. I don't see anything that I want to trade right now. I'll be interested in seeing this. This could totally uptrend here. I could be taking a buy at 86 and sell immediately when it shows any signs of reversal. Let's see if 87 gets taken out. There's a big bidder at 86. 88, yep, that's nice. Yeah, this is working out so far. I don't see anything else that I'm interested in trading. Okay, it is a midday update. I'm not going to be interested in trading right now, although LCLP is doing a nice run. It just broke this 11.6 level. Very choppy breakout, but it, it worked. The only time I would have considered a buy would have been here when it dropped towards the breakout level and then it would have to work immediately. I would not risk it any lower than this 89 level, give or take 90. I would not risk anything below it because I don't want to risk VWAP at 74. That's too much risk. 
that's the only other trade I could have taken there I don't see anything else here but it is making a nice breakout PHIL nothing I want to do here I guess I did have the lower low but this is very late in the day it, it took too long so I don't regret missing that it doesn't trade anymore um, with nice volume either so MWWC also nothing HPIL is nothing gamer oh uh, there we go is doing that random you know um, breakout but uh, nothing I want to trade there either that's all I got I'll make an update later today I probably won't trade anything else but who knows okay it is 4 41 p.m. and I'm here to call it off only one trade PHIL which was a morning panic bounce play I said I traded this first section here I bought at one two three at 9.33 again the, the green candle right here pretty good entry then it had an immediate spike at VWAP which I did not like I sold at the very top in and out same candle if it's gonna do that if I take a morning panic bounce play and it just immediately has this stupid humongous spike like it did there I'm just gonna sell into that and I was able to get the very top at 13 I did um, two things that I could have improved one I could have traded this um, you know panic right here I could have traded that so um, I hesitated but it wasn't too bad because again it was a bit iffy not really perfect morning banning uh, bounce play and, and then it had a, like a stutter step so that's one thing to take into consideration but I probably could have pushed myself into trading this and then the second thing was just probably being more aggressive with LCLP I had an appointment eventually um, in the afternoon so I wasn't here for any of this uh, I only came back later to see the nice uptrend, but this is a really good move. I hope this can be a, a potential stock for more setups. Uh, you know, it would be so scary, but it could be a dip buy. Just because it's up, you know, such a high percentage. Not even, um, you know, it's not it's not perfect, but these things can trade with a lot of range. And, and even if it doesn't run for three days in a row, I've seen these that do offer a morning panic bounce play some of them are very nice and very volatile so I will consider it but I'll probably trade a small position for that reason um, potentially it's just it's just gonna be you know a, a watch it's gonna stay on the watch list PHIL didn't really do much sure I did this um, higher low here but you know that was later in the day too late in the day for me to consider it GMER did do that uptrend towards the um, middle of the day here, but it didn't seem to really hold itself through. It doesn't trade with very good volume, so maybe I'm wasting my time watching this. HPIL had that spike. It wasn't that nice, but it was better than um, MWWC, which is the one I was looking at more. HPIL offered that morning spike. Probably if I want to go for morning spikes, I should have a one-day chart, so it, the, it looks um, a lot more clear to, to just, you know, consider a setup. It's not, I can't explain it, but when the candle opens and, you know, it's just for that day, it looks kind of strange. DPLS did offer a breakout here later in the afternoon. I saw in the chat when it was already around here, so it was too late, but this was a good setup. Maybe you can try to come back. And pull off another nice move it's up 32% and that's all I got I had one trade it was a um, nice percent gain almost 6% 35 bucks not a bad size I need to keep pushing myself to trade larger sizes this was a $600 position I can push myself to do larger size on morning panic bounce play setups but on any other setup like dip towards VWAP or maybe a dip buy with this one I don't mind trading a smaller, you know, three, four hundred dollar position, and then with these morning panic bounce plays, I can try maybe, you know, six, seven, eight hundred dollar positions. That's all I got. So um, just a lot of things I could improve on. Again, I did trade that um, PHIL initial one right here, and then I had this one that I missed, and I did miss LCLP. Um, those are the two things. In, in theory, DPLS too, but I don't, I don't really regret this because. Uh, you know, I, I wasn't here anymore at the at the after hours, but I was here for LCLP. So that's all I got. Just a good training day. I need to improve on a lot of things, but at least I was able to get 
one trade and acknowledge that when a stock that is having a morning panic bounce play has an immediate spike towards VWAP, it's probably best to sell them.